Welcome, welcome, welcome to Kickstarter Radio 102.4! And today we're looking at Zombicide, Undead, or Alive! Now, a lot of people are scratching the head at this theme, but what does Lipstick Patty think of this theme? Well, there's only one way to find out. Lipstick Patty, are you there? Please, take it away. Oh my god! This week's been incredible. What an amazing start to 2021. January, amazing. February, incredible. Here we are. Zombicide, undead or alive. It's a strange subtitle, isn't it? For me. <laughs> anyway, it's um, Zombicide, but in a Western setting, and I'm actually quite excited about it. Do you know what? I'm actually sick of people calling Zombicide a Simon game because, oh come on, because, you know, it's done by a French company called Glimier. You can just see on the bottom right of the box the guillotine sign. Because if you go to the Guillemier Facebook page, you'll see more of Zombicide pictures than you do see on the Simon website. So, what's with that? It's a bit like calling a Mass Effect an EA game when EA are just the publishers, like Simon are just the publishers, right? Because Mass Effect is a Bioware game. They're made by Bioware. And here, Guillemier are the devs behind Zombicide. So, Props to Guillemier for this one. And if you're a lover of Zombicide, it's a little bit, you know, Seaman are a little bit like EA with EA sports games, aren't they? Just bringing out a Zombicide every year with a different skin, it appears. But actually, this one's doing a little bit more out the gate. I'll go down the page in a second now. 10,000 backers, really well done. Props to. Um, all the backers and um, almost at the, the million which is great I have contacted the company about shipping because they're still using the um, come on shipping table which has never been updated like in five years credit to the team though it seemed on they did get back to me much quicker than other projects and they've said that it will be updated and feel free to go in on, on a dollar they told me so I want to see how big the campaign gets though, and um, I've got a few things I'd like to see. But yeah, I'm saving it and I'm definitely going to come in on a dollar because I'm not going to be paying the $180 shipping for this to come to Mexico when other games are shipping bigger boxes, heavier boxes for much less. It is a bit of a crime to society and to us expats living in Mexico. Anyhow. Now. <clears throat> Game is new, diff, new mechanic is the train can come through the map, so you can kind of lure the zombies and let the train take them all out, which is a nice mechanic. I like that it's like a western theme where the buildings are like a bar, you've got um, the saloon, the restaurants and stuff, and it really does look gory, the, uh, the tiles. As with the um, franchise now, the boards actually, plastic boards look nice because they've like, got that wood effect, so it looks better than the other colours that I've seen. And um, the objects you're picking up are really kind of nicely thematic, like a frying pan as a weapon. <laughs> it seems kind of more interesting in the Western theme because there's the, the amount of f actual weapons you can have in a Western theme is much limited. And there's like a, an Apache... Um, research has been done as well so that there is going to be some Apache characters too. What I like about this picture here is that you've got the players out on the railway track and they're not teaming up as such here and <laughs> the zombies coming out of the building and uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of fun. Anyway, they've, they've changed the dice to wooden dice and I'm a little bit like wooden dice? because you're going to be painting the you're going to be painting the dice and that that could rub off the the wood are you going to etch them mm. they are rounded though they're looking cool but i, I have slight concern maybe they, they'll put some kind of um layering over the top of the paint i don't know but call me concerned solo game coming out of the gate with six players as well and it's it is more streamlined using the 2.0 
um, rule book and it's an hour the same to play it. So nine tiles coming out from day one, reversible. That's what I want to see extended is a lot more tiles. Um, you know, if you if you ha if you're playing a campaign, I don't want the campaign playing with the same tiles, not necessarily anyway, and um, all that good stuff. Because it would be nice, for example, if you did have more tiles, so it felt like an actual wild western village. In the village, you've got like the shopkeeper, you've got like um, the sheriff's office, the jail. Um, the general store you've got maybe the stables you know that kind of stuff so you've got all the kind of the buildings for that so it looks like a village as such and this does have height in it as well we can go up ladders and um, go up on the balconies and shoot from up there that's pretty cool so it has that mechanic and um, yeah so I just want to see it get fleshed out so it can be like a true kind of Western village because I'm a big fan of the Westwood TV series which is Western and um, that is really kind of why I'm hot on this title. I think I like this theme more than the other zombie sides. Mm -hmm. All right. Now the actual trailer for the video on the Kickstarter is really well done and they've kind of done it here. Unique classes with the Abilities. They've got like um, four different class sets and each each character from the class will be unique, which is nice. So balcony is now in the game with um, line of sight, which is great because you can put sharp shooters up there. The train is going to barrel through the board, it says, which is a great mechanic. Love it. And um, is there going to be like an add-on or an unlock for a 3D train? <laughs> I can see that maybe coming. Um, a Gatling gun is like a super weapon. I like that very much. And um, dynamite is going to be the big focus towards grenades and things like that. So it's actually pretty good. Although deny dynamite, if you don't know, it's like if it heats up dynamite, it can explode in your hand. You've got to keep it kind of in a regular. I wonder if there's going to be some mechanic with dynamite that you can't take it out into the sun and things like that. Um, yeah, because when it starts to heat up, it starts to melt the plasticine explosive and it can get very unstable. Now, a wagon full of other features. This is what I'm interested in, the other features. Because if you know Simon, they just throw a billion uh, minis at you. So I don't want to see minis. You know, just stop throwing minis at us, for God's sake. It's not cool mini or not. It's a gazillion minis. Or not, isn't it? <laughs> That's what it feels like. Now, ge generic classes are Gunslinger. With a six shooting guns. We've got the Brawler type. The Faithful. And the Townsfolk. Townsfolk are maybe using double-handed weapons. Faithful. No idea how they're going to be doing, but it's... It, probably says um it says channeling the divine so are they gonna have some kind of i don't know magic billy i really don't know what this could do the faithful as a class i mean it doesn't really say much here but yeah sounds good they, are, they can make holy water which in itself is considered a supernatural water because it is getting blessed let's get the blessings of god through the priest to make the water holy in fact, it's um, usually done by a bishop, actually. So high order priest would make it holy. He has the power to holy, to sanctify the water. So yeah, purge cemetery and corpse pile zone. So it's potentially you need the faithful to um, take down the the spawn locations. The townsfolk are good though because it's kind of in the theme that they are there. And um, there's going to be like a, a set of famous people we'll see as we go through the pledge. Now, sitting at 100, which is the standard fare. The minis for me all have this plain base, which is screaming retail, retail, retail. 
Anyway, we know it's coming to retail, we do. But it's going to be the this extra stuff and the stuff that you can get here. But yeah, gunslingers-wise, uh, Turner's kind of doing the automatic shooting of the six guns, so it's he's, he's kind of making it like bam, 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 bam. He looks cool. Molly here, she's um, holding two massive magnums, they look like, so that's going to be very slow reload. And um, Pablito here. Pablito means small Pablo, and he doesn't look that short, does he? Or young. But, um, yeah, so we've got, like, the Mexicans in here, which is cool. Meg, who looks kind of strange because she's got kind of a lot of weapons, doesn't she? She's got, like, the shotgun in one hand, pistol in the other hand. She's got a combat knife on her belt. So she's looking like a, a, a real kind of don't mess with me kind of girl. Brawler's Carl looks like a butcher from all the others. <laughs> Besides, if there's one similar, it's Carl. Cassie here looks like a pirate. She's got a saber and dynamite. Who the hell are you? May also got a saber. What they have got sabers for? And uh, May also got like those pirate trousers. Are they really wild western? Those big fluffy trousers? Henry here, the miner. That sounds good. Nice pickaxe. Now the townsfolk. We've got Jimmy. Could be the store man. Hannah could be the doctor trixie the whore jeb the butcher so you know I, I like the fact that they're gonna come from the town we're gonna see more in the stretch goals we've got conception here who looks like a nun and thomas um <laughs> grave digger i don't know he certainly don't look like a priest but um yeah, it's interesting, the nuns, um, if they have like a set of battle priests, which are known as exorcist priests, that would certainly be a nice theme too. Walkers looking cool. They've all got that kind of dress code from the past. And the fatties, I don't think obesity was around back then. Lack of cheap foods and fatty foods and produced foods and all that razz. But... Um, yeah, a little bit carbon copy giving you eight of each. It's kind of a lot eight of each, isn't it? I would have preferred it to be a bit more individualized, but yeah. And only one abomination, so I'm expecting more abominations to come out. That would be nice. And again, um, the abomination is like a guy. And why haven't they got female abominations? What's the deal here? With all the enemies um, fat is being guys. Where's the women? The fat women and the big abomination woman. Alrighty. So otherwise, it's kind of your standard stuff that's coming in here. And um, there you go. Nine double-sided tiles. We've got three double-sided train tiles and um, all that stuff. Nice colourful pegs that they're giving you. <laughs> And the Gatling gun, I wonder if they could pull more specialist um, devices out. I don't know. 82 equipment cards, even though equipment would be less in the world. So that'd be interesting to go through that deck and see the individualization of the time period. As it... I don't know. Do you not feel that the equipment would be, by its inherent theme, be less than any other theme? But hey, still good. Now we're up to stretch goals, these are all going to be exclusive. Got some nice historical characters in here that I'm aware of. Billy the Kid, yes. Jesse James, Butch Cassidy, yes. Anyone else that I know of? Sheriff Earp. Uh, Doc Holliday, yeah. Wild Bill. Um, Woods is looking cool down here. I, I'm. I'm not, I don't know much about who these are. And again, it's like, here's a gigantic slot load of douchebags that, to extend the classes out. But yeah, unless all of these have got unique traits to their class. You know, Grayson, Billy the Kid, Jesse James, all sharpshooters. Do they all have a unique 
card and a unique ability. Because if it is, then yeah, it's okay. But if it's Jesse James is just a change of model, there's no real gameplay difference between Jesse James and Billy the Kid, then, you know, these, this is just fluff. It's not game changing, but really, if they're all unique classes, then all good. I like Martin, the uh, demol demolish demolitioner. And again, another woman lady locked and loaded, another double barrel on the back of a shot, but uh, a pistol and a saber. Like, there's almost like a cast of women super warriors here in, the, in this village. Capeche here, nice Apache guy. If they've done so much Apache research, there's only one in it so far. And um, where's the bow and arrow guy? I guess he's coming. Um, and the station walker. That's nice. There is going to be like dailies and stretch goals, so we'll go down. Now it says the rule book is still a work in progress. It's funny because it is. Why is it work in progress? It's still version two. That could just explain stuff that's going out. I do want to see like a campaign mode come out. So yes, it does talk about the uh, Native American survivor characters. Um, here that they there is a bit of research in it with some Native American history and a cultural consultant yes so yeah painted minis here looking um, fairly nice aren't they mm. notice they coloured the bases I would have don't know don't know what you do with the coloured base on Western theme put a bit of wood down there who knows. Walkers are kind of looking cool, aren't they? They always are when they're painted. The abomination looks cool too. Yes, very cool. So yeah. Please, come on, we need more abominations, more fatties. We don't we need female versions of them. The custom wooden dice. Grayson. Reigns, Mika, Jesse James. We've just seen this up at top, haven't we? These have already been unlocked already. Capeche, Janie. We've seen all these above. They're looking cool. April looks snazzy in her pink dress. I like this. And Sister Grace looking good as well. All good. Eli here of the melee type. So it looks like as they're approaching one million, they're just giving you extra characters. I hope the I hope that trend switches around where after a million it becomes more enemy types. And we know they've not even talked about the pledge, have they? They're just rocking to the end of it, like. All right. <clears throat> so the, the, <laughs> there's going to be something added here. Let's go to the pledges. So it's 100 on the nose at the minute. And you know that's not going to ring true, don't you? You know there's something else coming here. So yeah, I'm going to be watching it to the end and I'll have to $1 pledge it for the shipping because if I just go down to the shipping here, we're currently in Latin America, it's $108. But the USMCA trade deal is in and we should be in the same shipping zone as Canada. So that's where they've told me just to go in on a dollar before it gets updated. So hopefully there's something is coming in here nicely. Now, what I'm expecting is some add-ons for, hopefully some extra tiles. Hopefully they start unlocking some new weapons. Because up here they did stress. They did stress, didn't they? That. Come on, where are you? Let's go past all this stuff. It's quite a long Kickstarter, isn't it? Yeah, they did stress that there's there's a bucket a bucket load of stuff to come. Here it is, a wagon full of other features. 
Well, so far we've only seen characters, so that isn't a feature per se for me. So what can they do? What do I expect? More tiles with more, so you can really make a big map. Um, a campaign mode would be nice. Uh, it certainly would be nice if the campaign mode included some of the characters that have been unlocked as NPCs. That would be really cool because they're not just a change of character, they actually re are represented in the campaign. That'd be nice. And um, experimental weapons would be pretty cool too. Um, and definitely some more brawler types would be needed as well if it were a campaign. And if it is a campaign, it'd be nice to do like this giant mini that you fought at the end, like a super abomination, which we've not really seen. And um, all that good stuff. All right, so yeah, I'm excited to see what's coming. You know, they've got all the classes out of the way. Hopefully it does change its trend as it goes past a million. We see more abominations, hopefully female-based, be interesting to see more of the character, more of the um, wet weapons and stuff that are coming out. Can they get stretched to even more? Who knows what, they, what they've got here? Will they spin into some spin on this a little bit of sci-fi? Who knows? It looks like they're pretty hard on the theme here, and um, all that good stuff. And um, you know, maybe we'll see like a zombie horse or um, horses in the game and stuff like that. We don't know what can be coming in, do we? But anyway, I am very excited about it, really. It's, um, this theme, I, like I said, it's one that I'm up for. And, um, yeah. It's got a nice 20 something, was it 21 day campaign coming out the gate? So it has got time to grow. And with the dailies coming out, it's certainly gonna be one to come back to and check it out. But I'm just a little bit frightened of the pledge going up to $200 because they, they like to add stuff, don't they? Like an expansion box. I'm down for that though. Definitely down for that. Because hmm, we don't know if Zombicide, Undead or Alive is going to have expansions on another Kickstart to do. We they kind of like to do these one all in super Kickstarters and then go to the next thing that they're working on. But um, yeah, super, super excited. Come on, you've done a good job here. Or Gulli Mier have done a good shop job. I don't know why. <laughs> they've got the they've got the, pi the picture of the company on the box, but they're not doing much. They're not featured anywhere else. But anyway, hit up their Facebook for more information, actually. I'll put it in the link below. And let me know what you think. Have you got Zombicide version previous on your shelf? And um, do you think you'll be adding this? Is this game just more of the same for you though? Or what do you think you'd like to see? If you're on, if you're on the fence, what, do you, what would you like to see? I don't know, but um, it'd be interesting if we can get a conversation going of what, what you do think it should have. Because I think a lot of people will be on the fence here. Obviously 10,000 people aren't. They're all in on this. <laughs> but, but hey... And the box looks a little bit slim, doesn't it? If we compare the Zombicide box to other boxes we've been seeing of recent on Kickstarter, it's like a very small box. And um, it'd be nice if they did a Kickstarter box that had all these minis in, because they like to give you two boxes, and we, the trend is now to do big boxes. So, you know, it'd be nice if they offered a big box upgrade. That'd be nice too. Um, but really, I'm... Keep my eye on it. I'll definitely come back with uh, final thoughts on this, just to include, because, I, you know, Simon never leave it at 100, do they? They like to throw the bucket at us and the kitchen sink. So we'll see. It's a very good start from the team, Simon. Come on, getting close to a million. And fingers crossed, you stop throwing minis at us and show us what the wagon full of features, other features are that you've got planned for the campaign. <laughs> is exciting isn't it well on that bombshell thank you so much for watching please give us a thumbs up um, and uh, leave a comment if you will 
And yeah, I've been your host, Lipstick Paddy. This has been Kickstarter Radio 102.4. You take care, stay safe, and bye-bye for now.